nice to talk about the zeal chakra, even though it's not one of the seven major chakras. Uh, it's a really exciting chakra that's coming online for a lot of people. And so if you're not aware of it yet, I wanted to kind of share about it with you guys. Um, so the zeal chakra, another name for it would be the um, well of dreams, or I've also heard it referred to as the mouth of God. Now, this chakra is located at the back of the neck and the base of the skull. Kind of, if you feel around back here, it's where there's a little indention in most people. That's where the zeal chakra is. And the color ray associated with it is magenta. And I wasn't aware of this chakra until maybe four years ago or something. But what happened was this. I had a lot of people coming for crystal healing sessions, and I kept getting directed to work back there. And I'd put my hands back there and I'd feel all this energy going in. And I was telling that we, I could tell we were activating something. So after having several of those in a row, I thought I'd better look that up and figure out what was going on. So I read about this zeal chakra, found out it's in most people, this is a dormant chakra, but it's beginning to come online for many people. And when it's fully activated, this is a really groovy chakra, man, because it is supposed to regulate your multidimensional telepathic communication. So that sounds amazing to me, just to be able to open that line of telepathic communication with the higher dimensional beings. Um, this chakra can trigger the awakening of your kundalini energy. And it, it, it also um, helps to um, increase all of your clair senses, your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your claircognizance, clairsentience. It helps with astral travel. It will amplify your healing abilities, your empathic gifts, and multiple metaphysical abilities. So this is a chakra I was really interested in. Let's get this one going, right? So obviously, I wanted to find out if there were any people recommending crystals for the zeal chakra. I found a couple of recommendations, but not very many. The only two I really found were um, clear quartz. And clear quartz makes perfect sense because clear quartz can activate any chakra that you put it on. So you can't go wrong with clear quartz. The second recommendation also made sense to me because it was pink tourmaline. So pink is great because pink tourmaline is great because it has that magenta color ray and it's also a striated gemstone. So you stick that back there like a magic wand and it's going to start to uh, activate that chakra. But I couldn't help but feel like there was probably another Uh-oh, you're breaking up a little. With certain stones that I have. Finally, it looks like. Hello? I, I'm not was, sure if we're frozen, we're back. so I'm going to keep back. talking. We got you. Oh, we're back? Okay. Did we miss yeah, anything? you were it breaking like up a little there. And oh, okay. Yeah. So just to recap what I was saying, I just kept experimenting with my own stones until I found Udialite. And I put that back there, and it was like light bulb went off. Udialite or Udialite. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is a polished piece. Um, there physically and energetically pretty complex stones. They've got that magenta color, a, also pink and red and rose, uh, a little bit of green and violet and white. They've got a lot of different colors. Um, this is what it looks like if it hasn't been polished. So How do you spell that? Okay, so that's spelled E-U-D-I-A-L-Y-T-E. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> you dial it. Um, okay, so this is a really interesting stone. It's got all of those color rays in it. It's got that magenta that we like to see. Um, and here's what Melody had to say about the stone. Melody is the author of Love is in the Earth. And I'm really sorry because I just heard recently that she transitioned and she sure did give us such a huge contribution of our knowledge of the mineral kingdom. So Melody, we love you and we thank you for what you've taught us. But this is what Melody had to say about the stone. Uh, she says it was demonstrated that if you were to hold a eudialyte for at least one hour, that it will uh, measurably increase your alpha and your beta brainwave states simultaneously. 
And that was really exciting for me to hear. So your beta state of consciousness, that's your everyday alert, awake state of consciousness that we're operating in right now. But your alpha state is more of your daydream imagination state of consciousness. And that's where you're accessing your intuition, your psychic ability, um, your creativity, and even your higher dimensional connection. So this stone can help you to be in both of those brain wave states at one time. And eudialite is known to help to develop telepathy, clairvoyance, clairaudience, and your channeling abilities. And it's known as a fine tuner of transmissions. So actually, if you meditate with this, it's gonna help you to hone in on the important vibrational information that's coming in while tuning out the extraneous noise. So it helps you to get much more clear psychic impressions. Um, this stone is also known to help um, clear the channel from your root chakra all the way to the top of your head. And it activates a Kundalini experience, which is exactly what this chakra is all about. Um, and it's known to um, bring an increase of synchronicities in your life and it moves you into that higher flow. Um, it's also a really good balancing stone. So it can help to harmonize uh, your mental and your emotional bodies. It connects your spiritual body to your physical body. And it just brings in the joy vibration and a, a feeling of oneness with the universe. So I think this is a really dynamic, exciting stone. And a lot of people, I don't think, know about it. So if you guys are interested in working with this zeal chakra, just like get a flatter piece like this and just stick it back there and chill out for like 15 minutes at a time. When this one begins to activate, sometimes it can cause some tension back there. So just be aware of that, but um, really exciting stuff.